Welcome back to Mr. B's here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. I'm Chris Williams, joined always by my good friend Tim Sitzman here to talk a little Iowa State Cyclone uh, basketball for you today. First of all, Tim, how's business going here, you Mr. B? You know what? B? Business has been good. We're, we're still on sale. It's our semi-annual sale going on at Mr. B's at 1995 Northwest 86th Street. Love to welcome the, the, the clone fanatics in and, and take a look at what we're doing. Uh, we've had a little ice on the roads, Chris. It's, yeah. I didn't know if you were going to make it this morning. It's been a tough go, but, uh, you know, the roads are clear, and uh, we're all here, and we'd love to have you. Yep, and uh, got to, again, as you mentioned, great sale, a lot of good stuff going on here at Mr. B. So come check them out. Tim, I know you, you probably watched the game just like I did last absolutely, night. Absolutely, absolutely. Here's my deal. It's, uh, it's easy to get negative about a loss like that, and, and rightfully so. The team... I don't think put forth their their best effort of the season, but you and I were talking, you know, and we're not making excuses here. Not, not at all. These are not excuses for the loss, but I, I think that after reading a lot of what's going on on the forums, I, I think a lot of things getting lost in the shuffle. I mean, you, Luca left the team. Right. Um, half the team has just been dismantled with injuries. Right. Um, Marquez Gilstrap's uncle died the night before. Yeah. I, there's a, a lot of things a, a lot of adversity going on, and. What I don't want to see, I don't want to see everybody just beating this team up and beating up Coach McDermott. And that's fine. If you have an opinion, that's fine. Uh, nobody's keeping you from having an opinion. But acknowledge all the other things going on, too. And, and let's give these kids the benefit of the doubt. Because, like you said, Tim, they played really hard last night. I, I thought when you look at the final score and you look at how well Texas Tech has been playing uh, in and out of the conference, mm -hmm. they played a very good team. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought they, with all the adversity going on, you know, you, every, I, I say to the fans, every, you got to remember these are 18, 19, 20 year old kids. I mean, they're trying to do their best and they're like life. There's emotion in it. And some days you just don't have it. Other days you do. Mm -hmm. And I think if, if you, my hat's off to coach McDermott. He's holding together a, with, with uh, the glue getting a little dry on the edges. He's trying to hold them together. And, uh, you know, I, I just ask the fans to be fans, enjoy the ball game. They're playing very hard. There's going to be times we're going to beat somebody down the road that we're not expected to beat. Maybe I, Saturday. Maybe sa Kansas. Yeah, I, I'm hoping. But, you know, they're going to come out and play very hard. There, there's certainly talent on that floor yet, and we got to examine all ends of it, as you just spoke about, yeah. Chris. And, and I'm still excited and optimistic of the future of that basketball program. We're going to have some ups and downs, and there's going to be players that leave. It happens in every program. I mean, mm -hmm. look what happened to Tennessee. They had, yeah. they have, and they're winning. Yeah. So there's people that have to come off the bench. There's talent. I think McDermott, Coach McDermott said it the other day in the paper. There's talent up and down that bench to win ball games. Yeah. So we, they all got uniforms, and let's see what happens. Yeah, and it all starts on Saturday again. Third rank Kansas comes to town. We got a scare for Baylor last night. So this is a Kansas team that's beatable, and that would really be some sort of a trademark win for Greg McDermott. Now back to Greg McDermott for a second. It, it, you read it yesterday or today in the Des Moines Register. I picked it up. Randy Peterson had a great article with, Absolutely. with Pat Knight, who really came to bat for Greg McDermott. There's a fraternity out there, coaches, and they should stick together because yeah. they're doing their best. And it, it I, I think it, some of the blame goes on, on the player. If there's blame to be shed out there, I don't know how much blame there is. But there's commitment, and certainly that commitment was broken by a player, not by Coach McDermott. Yeah, and I, I really think, too, I mean, today's day and age, big-time college basketball, I'm talking the upper echelon, on to Division One, it's pretty, pretty rare that a player goes to play for a school. You know right. what I mean? Absolutely. I mean Absolutely. They're playing for themselves, but there yeah. should be a little pride in the school. And there should be, but my whole point is how much, I've, how different it is than 10 years ago, than 20 years ago. I mean, the Johnny Orr things out there are just ridiculous because you don't know how Johnny Orr would coach in today's game. You it, cannot compare Greg McDermott to Johnny Orr. It's completely unrealistic. Please don't. It's, yeah. it's unfair. And, and I think Coach McDermott uh, deserves a lot of uh, a lot of criticism at times, maybe at the at some of the things that happen at the end of the game. But in general, he's holding that team together. Yeah. Long term, I think he's the right fit for Iowa State, and I'll stand up for him for that. Yeah. And, and let's let's see what happens down the road. Uh, there's a lot of talent. He's he's brought in recruits, mm -hmm. and and they they got to start to mold as a team. And unfortunately, you know, with the NBA doing the rule where you have to go to school for a year. Yeah. College basketball. Guys, it's, it's turned into a me first game. Lucas Steiger was thinking about the name on the back of the jersey, not the one on the front. Yeah. And can you blame him for that? I don't know. You know. I was thinking the other day when I was in college, if somebody offered me $100,000 to go take a job, it's something I love doing. I don't know. 
I mean, it's really hard until you're in his shoes. We as well. can't get in his tennis shoes and right in his head, and we don't know the needs and the other things going on in his life. Yeah. But and I sure I'm sure that 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 meeting with Coach McDermott was hard for him, and I'm sure it wasn't an easy situation. We've all been in tough situations. Mm-hmm. He made a decision for himself, and there's yep. no question about that. And I agree with you 100%. It, it's a me kind of game, not, mm-hmm. not a we, and, and uh, we have to accept that. It's unfortunate, but... It is what it is. That, exactly, and there's really, I don't see any change coming very soon. All you can do is go root for the Cyclones on Saturday. Well, let, let's keep let's keep our optimism for the whole. I mean, I think the women's co- coach Finley's doing a ro- wonderful job. If you look at the programs at whole, we're, we're, we're competitive mm-hmm. in, in the big... Big 12. I think the football program, as we talked about earlier before we came on, is is in an exciting time, a good yeah. recruiting time, and, and Coach Rhodes and and what's going on in that program is exciting. So you know we we, we just don't want to get negative as as uh, Cyclone fans out there. We got we got to uh, uh, stay the course, as they say in in politics. But stay the course with the program. I think we're 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 going to see some good things down the road. Come on in here and buy yourself a blazer. Uh... Get your wife hey, some clothes, hey, all it, sorts of good it, stuff. You know, we're getting new things in all the time. That's exciting in our business. Like we're getting, we get Spring. new, we get new uh, athletes in the program. We we get new product, and it's it's fun. Uh, we're going to see people start going south where it's warmer. Uh, we're getting clothes for that. So come out and see us. We'd love to have you. 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. He is Tim Sitzman, and he will hook I'll, you up with I'll anything. I'll be here. You need. We got good uh, help all throughout the store. But come and see me and say hello. All right. Thanks a lot, fanatics. Uh, try and keep positive out there. We will see you on Saturday, hopefully, with an upset over the Kansas Jayhawks. Won't that be great?